Here's our DSM stock replacement manifold. I want to take a quick look at some of the design aspects and really some of the design challenges for any DSM stock frame or stock placement specifically manifold, um, meaning that it shares the same inlet and outlet flange locations as the factory manifold. And that's really where most of the challenges begin because you're really fighting for space between retaining those flange locations, which are really close, and having a nice merge collector. And the merge collector itself is probably where you have the most opportunity for improvement over the factory cast manifold, which does have a nice direct path um, from the inlet at the port to the outlet, but where all the runners join together, they're kind of pointing at each other rather than directed out and into the turbine wheel itself. So to get a nice merge collector, what we did is we angled it back, um, but you can see that there is a, it's a flow guide vane, and it's actually built into the collector itself between the two collector halves. And what that does is it corrects the flow. Um, each runner goes in and it's straightened back out and points directly out of the collector outlet and into the turbine housing for a direct shot. You can see, even with the angled back collector, there's just enough room for a nice full bend. Um, that's really important, especially right off the port. So why is this all important? Why do all this? Why not just use a tight bend? Or why not just make the exhaust find its own way out? Why make room for this bend, and why aim each runner so carefully? It's to let the exhaust keep moving. Gently guide the exhaust in the direction you want it to go, and don't force it around a sharp bend or corner. Just let it keep moving. The exhaust will eventually end up in the same spot with each manifold, but don't use up exhaust velocity or rely on pressure to get it there. It's to keep as much exhaust velocity and energy so it can continue pulling on the port near the end of the exhaust stroke and keep the other cylinders from interfering with that. This is how you remove the most exhaust gas from the cylinder so the following intake stroke doesn't have to contend with that residual exhaust gas. Exhaust gas that will end up displacing what could have otherwise been fresh incoming air charge in the cylinder. This is how you make more power per PSI, and this is how you can reach the same airflow sooner without needing as much boost to do so. Less exhaust gas polluting the intake stroke. This is what we strive for with all of our turbo manifolds, and this is how we made it work within the stock flange locations.